Yeah, you're right, mate. If it's uh, we want to see 50 50 fights, and I don't think that's a lot to ask, to be honest. I just not want to see 50 50, but I do. I want to see 50 50, but I also want to see Billy Joel because he didn't get the big fights at Canelo or GGG, so I want to see him go to Andre and get his title that he gave up so easily back. Do you know Billy Joe, right? Are, uh, are you a Billy Joe fan? Yeah, I love the guy, but I just think he messed too much because did you ever see the videos on YouTube? He pretend to be a copper and he strip a man naked, etc., and doing all that crap. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not, uh, we'll not talk about that, but getting back to Billy Joe's boxing career, right? Do you think... Oh, sorry, sorry. How many elite wins has Billy Joe got on his record? Well, how many, how many guys out of the top 10 Ring Magazine has Billy Joe beat? Yeah, you know, he doesn't have too many big names on his resume, but, um, you know, the Eubank, um, I don't think that was impressive, you know. Uh, Eubank is living off his dad's name. Um, yeah, it was impressive what he did to Lemieux. Um, maybe one, two others, but other than that, I can't really see anything outside of that. Well, he's beat three world champions if you count Eubank, but there's question marks against the all three, isn't there? Number one, Andy Actually, Lee. Another name I respect, sorry. He beat Andy Lee, didn't he? He, he dropped him three, four times, yeah. Dropped him twice, didn't he? Andy Lee, right? One more rounds in him, but the knockdowns counting against him but Andy Lee were a career like middle so that's the question mark against him the other guy with David Lemieux he was on the slide he was a former champion and the other one were Eubank and he went on to win the IBO but he fought Billy Joe at British level didn't he so as far as I'm concerned Billy Joe has been wrapped in cotton wool but if you say anything you're a hater now, for five years, all we've heard is he's going to fight Triple G or Canelo. Well, why haven't he fought him? Why, why, why haven't these fights happened? No, I agree with you. Your video as well. I've seen your video that you said Billy Joe only needs, what, three more fights and he has his pension fund. So, yeah. Yeah. They said one thing. They're just trying to prolong the blag. And I... And you know, if you say anything, you can be, oh, you're out of order, you're out of order, but we're seeing it in front of our eyes, we're seeing it with Tyson, we're seeing it Billy Joe. They've got it down to an art. They've got it, they've got it down to an art. They could knock on your door and they could get your money off you to do your block paving and you'd pay them. And then, and then they'd drop bricks off and then you'd just go, you'd have to do it, do it job you said. They've got it down to a fine art, this PR game, Billy Joe and Tyson. That's what I think. So. You know, I think, um, you know, we, as much as we disagree or agree, we have to respect the two because it's like the saying, you have to respect anybody that puts on a pair of gloves. And yeah. I think, you know, not just respect them for putting on gloves, but yeah. respect them because they're world level as well, not European or whatever. Oh, yeah, the world level fighters, but. We're gonna we're gonna judge Tyson after this wilder fight because if he beats him, he's got the clean sweep. Every got every belt, hasn't he? If he beats Wilder, and then he, if Tyson beats Wilder, he's the man. Can we talk about um, if he beats Wilder? Let's hypothetically say he does beat Wilder. Um, yeah. I read on the news, it could be fake news, but I read on the news that Tyson said he doesn't want to fight Joshua if he beats him uh, in 2020. Well, he's already got another Wilder fight if he beats Wilder next in, next in February. This this month, and if he beats Wilder, he's got to fight him again in August. So he might fight Joshua at Christmas then in Saudi and end up with about 140 million out of a year. No, I agree because Tyson said his last three fights were um, decent fights, but he said he wants to fight Joshua and Boy. I don't think he'll fight Dillian White. Oh, yeah. Just can't see it happening. No. Because there was talk already in the past, like uh, months and months ago, 
saying, oh, you know, he's talking shit about me, blah, blah, blah. So why didn't he sign a deal to do something? And that's what I'm saying. I don't think they'll... Who was um, saying that? Um, they were taking shots at each other, um, you know, Dillian White and Tyson Fury. So um, I can't see that fight happening, even though they're talking about each other. Right, listen. Them two, they get it, don't they? They do numbers on. They do numbers on IFL. Look, what's Billy Dillian White's best belt that he's got at home? You know, you said IFL. One thing I want to ask you about IFL is, what do you think about Cuban Cassius? His net is worth sixty million. Is is what? <laughs> His net value is worth sixty million. He uploaded um, a photo that, to Instagram that he asked Google. What is Coogan Cassius' um, net value when it, it came up 60 million? Is it? <laughs> Coogan Cassius is worth 60 million. He's running around the world with a camera, but he's worth 60 I million. Did you WhatsApp you that picture? Did you not see it? <laughs> Do you believe that? Well, you know, I would think um, I'm probably wrong, but I would think, you know, being next to Eddie all the time, that maybe, uh, yeah. You think Coogan yeah. Cassius is worth 60 million? Because right. you look at the deal that the zone gave Eddie, and Eddie is best mates with Coogan. Yeah, but. <laughs> and Eddie works with Adam Smith on Sky, and uh, as I said, you look at all these incomes, and Eddie is best mates with Coogan. Oh, well, I don't know, that's a good one. Well, if he's got 60 million out of the job, there's hope for me yet, isn't there? I don't, I don't. I'm saying 60 million, but I'm just saying what he said. But what would you think his net is? I don't know, I don't know. Go on to Company House. Go on to Company House and Google him. I don't know, I don't know. I don't really care, but if he's got 60 million in bank, good luck to him. But if I had 60 million in bank, I wouldn't be running around with a camera going around the world 300 days a year. Would I? I won't, not with 60 million in bank. But I don't know, but good luck to him. I don't mind Coogan, he's a hard worker. Uh, I don't agree with the, the platform that they give Eddie Earn, whereas somebody's following Eddie all year round. I don't agree with that. It's in-house media. I don't agree with all, a lot of other things. I don't agree with the questioning. And I pulled him about that in a nightclub in Bulgaria. I mean, Dennis was sat there. He came and sat with us and I told him what I thought. And... I'm not going to say what he said, but I don't agree with it, you know, and we had a chat about it and agreed to disagree. And he's in an awkward situation, he's got his own company and, you know, he's, uh, he's going to need access, isn't he? If he falls out with Eddie and what had happened to him? Right. Do you know? Do you know who's? Do you know who started IFL? No. Jane Couch, and it was called iFilm London when it first started. So just so you know, it was Jane Couch was the original start, original starter of that. So. But Jane, you would have said it was Coogan, so I'm not no. Bullshit, it was Jane Couch who started iFilm London, and then it, uh, she introduced Coogan. To all boxing people, it was her who brought him in. But he's done well. He, he's obviously found his talent, and he's a good interviewer. But like I said, I'd just like to see him answer some questions about why pay per view has gone up, why we work, why why are they working with Stubbub, things like that. Why would they want to put fights on in Saudi? Do they think it's wrong? I could give you a list as long as my arm. But there's a lot of questions that. Yeah, he sits on fence. He sits on fence because he don't want to upset anybody. When I'm asked, I say, I'll say, oh, I think he'll beat him. And then more than likely, somebody will come up to me and they'll say, you had him to beat me. And I say, well, he did he knock you out? And then it's, you know, he's, <laughs> he doesn't go down well, does it? You're damned if you do and damned if you don't. 
Yeah, so, but the saying is sticks and stones, you know. So what does it matter if a person says this or says that? It's only sticks and stones. Yeah, it doesn't mean that, does it? But like I said, he's got to play the game, hasn't he? And his game that he's playing is he's got splinters in his arsehole. But I wish him well. But he ain't got 60 million. <laughs> That's all about it. He'll be having a bit of banter. He'll be having a bit of banter. What do you think Box Nation's worth? I'm not sure about this one. Um, but genuine guess. Four hundred. I don't know. Ten, fifteen, thereabouts, twenty max. No, it's for sale. It's for sale, and it's a lot less than that. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, what have you got planned for the rest of the evening then, Bernard? Not much. Um, just, you know, as I said, hopefully I don't get copyrighted when I upload it to my channel. Um, just chill out, um, have an early night, um, you know, so not much really, to be honest. How about yourself? You up too much? Yeah, I'm just going to watch this film now, uh, Disturbing the Peace with Guy Pierce. I've just watched that. Queen and Slim, and I'm going to watch this. I was going to ask you, uh, do you ever come over to England to watch fights? No, I'd love to. Um, you know, what it is, is I'm only building up at the moment. Um, I have a few followers like Dillian White, Peter Fury, Yui, Yui Fury, um, yes. Willie Monroe, um, Brandon Rios, etc. Um, I'm talking to yourself now, which is um, an honour for me, mm. um, because I've seen how big you and your channel are. Um, <laughs> Don't be a favour, mate. A fury, but there was a signal issue, so I need to get that back. Um, but as I said, I'm only building myself, but maybe in time, 100%, absolutely, but I'd love the experience. It'd be wonderful. Because well, listen, yeah. if you if you want to come over to one of our shows, there's one in Barnsley. Uh, this month on 21st of Feb you're welcome but if you can't make it it's on Free Sports TV and the owner of Free Sports is from near you Michael O'Rourke he's a friend of Dennis's and he used to own if you have one around November my birthday definitely why not alright well Michael O'Rourke lives in Dublin and he used to own Satanta and we have a show in November this year as well yeah Shooting at us, so we're not going to have um, any more weigh-ins because of stupid stuff like that. And it's uh, yeah, so, yeah, I definitely love the experience. Yeah, well, you're more than welcome. I'll put you on lists. You and a, you and a friend, or you on your own for November. And that's what I said to Carly when I was texting her. I said, listen, um, he's going to say stuff. I'm going to say stuff. Um, even if we disagree, I'm going to respect him and his opinion because. Maybe some people you talk to, they disagree with you, they say, Were you serious? Are you sure up you? You know, blah, blah, talk shit. No, every, yeah, saying, everybody's it's allowed an opinion. opinion. It's just that sometimes some uh, things that I get sent, I mean, <laughs> you, you won't believe some of the emails I get sent. That's why, obviously, somebody deals with all that now and she gives me good ones and bins bad ones. But and in the letterbox as well. Oh, I've had that. Yeah, that's now with that, mate. That's, uh, that's all done. I've had that repaired now, but. Yeah, it's just one of them like, things, isn't it? Well, if you don't like it, go to another channel or whatever. Why do they have to be negative? One of them things, isn't it? It's boxing, isn't it? I, I, I bring a lot on it on myself. I'm pretty outspoken. And, you know, you've got to take rough with it smooth. I'm not, I'm not really bothered. Uh, if anybody had a problem, they'd press, they would have pressed the buzzer, wouldn't they? And I'd have gone down and seen what they had to say. But they obviously come and did it in middle of the night, didn't they? But it's just one of them yeah, things. I always give people respect if they pull me and say, oh, Russell, I didn't like well, that you video. Mad, you always say to them, come down, come down and see me. Come and see me, yeah, come and see me if you've got a problem with the channel or I've said something you don't like and we'll speak about it for 20 minutes, then we'll decide that I were right. <laughs> I think if they're man enough to do letterboxes and stuff, 
box and a little petty shit like that. I think why not give them a chance to get on the interview and uh, you say what you say and they say what they say and put it out there for us to hear rather than them just running down rubbing mail or doing whatever stupid stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh... Let me tell you this, my friend. Listen, um, time's angry or time pissed off is time you'll never get back, so just smile and don't let them bother you. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. But it's onwards and upwards, and I'm in a good place, mentally, physically, and emotionally. I think. <laughs> that's it, you know. You have to be in a good place no matter what. Yeah. So, well, listen, we've had a good chat. I'm going to upload this uh, tonight now. I'll pick three thumbnails for it, and uh, I'll get it out there. And I'm going to crack on with watching my film now. So it's been nice to speak to you, Bernard. You're obviously a big boxing fan. Uh, I thought you were from America. You're from Ireland, Dublin. So you're more than welcome to come to the show in November. There's a lady who lives out your way as well. Uh, she's called Helen. Maybe you can come over with Helen. Uh, she's a boxing fan, and well, I'll invite you as both as guests in as a, yeah, to the November show. Be, uh, friends with you as, as well as friends with them. Yeah, so you're welcome to come over. If she comes up, if she don't, you could come on your own. But I think she's going to come to a show this year, end of year. So, all right, my friend, you take care. You too. Uh, it's nice talking to you. And like I said before, thank you for the opportunity. No I problem. No problem, you take care, Bernard. All right, bye-bye. You too, my friend. Good night and God bless. Good night, bye-bye. Uh, well, that was Bernard. He's a boxing fan. He's a Tyson Fury fan as well, uh, which there's no wrong with that. Uh, he's got his opinion. He spoke like a gentleman, didn't he? So I'll probably have him on again. I forgot what his channel is called. Oh, I forgot to get him to mention it on here. Uh, so if anybody's watching this, or if Bernard, if you're watching it, just put a, a text or something on what your channel is, and then other people can join your YouTube channel and will help you grow your channel. All right? Uh, I think that's about it, really. I forgot all. That. I forgot you were going. You were ringing, actually. Uh, but we've got it under the belt. We've had over an hour. So, all right. Peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's the best sport in the world. So. Man dies after being mauled by owl. Jesus. Uh, shout out to Innovation Alloys. Limitless web design, Doncaster, South Yorkshire packaging. Peace out. <laughs>